Hello everyone, Millie here and welcome to another one of my favourite classes, uh, Peaches Booty Camp. Today I am bringing you some of my favourite booty exercises and I am doing this one equipment free just to show you that you don't need the equipment to add on that extra burn. Hello everyone, Millie here and welcome to another one of my favourite classes, our Peaches Booty Camp. Today I am bringing you some of my favourite booty exercises and I am doing this one equipment free just to show you that you can get the burn without adding anything on. However, if you do have a booty band or an ankle weight, I would definitely be putting them on today. It will make it super spicy for you. So you just go with, ever, with whatever you have today and I'm gonna meet you on the mat. So let's come down into our four point kneel first. We are going to go through our cat cows. So on our inhale, we sink the chest down to the mat, eye gaze to the sky. Exhale, we're arching up, scooping belly button to your spine. And let's just rinse everything out here. I've said it before, there's no right or wrong. You can add on any movement that your body is craving. Shake your hips, shake your head, sway from side to side. Maybe roll into your wrists a little bit. You've only got three more here. Deep breaths. Nice, two. Beautiful, rinse out that spine one more time. Good, and then coming back to center, tuck that tailbone and untuck your toes. We're pressing back into our pike. In your pike, just have a pedal out, bending one knee, then the other, feeling that beautiful release in through the back of the legs and let your head hang heavy. We're going to press both heels down now and add a deep bend in through your knees. Good. Feeling that upper back release. Good. We're going to take a big inhale and you're going to swing it forward into your high plank, tucking that tailbone. Exhale, press back to your bent knee pike. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, press it back. Bent knee pike. Good. Tummy's drawing in, keep that going for me. We've got another five. Keeping your chest nice and proud, we've got four. Tummy's in, good, three, we're going to add on. In two, lengthening that spine. One more time, press back to your pike, bent knees. We're going to take the tailbone up to the sky now and then circle everything forward into your high plank. So we're drawing circles with our body. Take it back, bent knee, pike, hips to the sky, circle it forward. Good. Taking it back, circling up. And again, you can just go with whatever movement that feels good for you here. Keeping that breath nice and strong. We've only got three more. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Big circles. Nice, you've got another two. One more time. Pressing it back into your high plank. Tuck that tailbone. Hold for four, three, two, one. Knees mat width apart. Press back to your child's pose. Reaching through the fingertips. Have a nice release there. Shake your hips. Little sway from side to side. And then... We should be ready to go. I'm already feeling a bit hot and sweaty. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so today, guys, we are going to start with our clam series. So our legs are going to be in 45 degrees for me. I'm lying on my left side first. Whoopsies. Take that down. We're going to lie all the way down. You should be able to just tap your heels with your hands. So just check your heels, your booty, and your head are in one long line here. We want our hips to be stacked so that top knee is always directly on top or a little bit over our bottom knee. And this top hip is rolling forward. Squeeze your heels together. We're just gonna start with a simple clam. So we take an inhale, draw our tummies in. Exhale, we lift that knee. Pushing your top hip forward, making sure we're not rolling backwards. Inhale, lower to hover. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, lower to hover. 
Now remember we have that little mouse house under the waist, in between the mat and the waist. Good, squeezing onto that right butt cheek. This is really good for your hip mobility as well. Working on our flexibility. And just take this as your warm up. So keep squeezing those heels together, squeezing the glute before you even lift that knee. Squeeze those butt cheeks together. Draw your belly button to your spine. We are working the lower abs here. Doing really well. Exhale up. Inhale down. Good. All right, we're going to go for another 10. Can you give your pelvic floor a little bit of a squeeze? Good. All right, eight to go. Now, if you've got your band or your ankle weight, it should be on now, popping it on that right leg. I should have said that earlier. You can always hit pause now. Good. Six more. And five. There's no rush here. Four. Beautiful. Three. How's that gap going? Two. One more time. Lift that knee. Start to pulse. Pulse. Squeeze your heels together. Pulsing for ten. Nine. Tummies in. Eight. Seven. Six. You'll start to feel that right butt cheek turn on now. You've got four. Three. Two, one, keep that knee open, flexing your feet. We're going to lift that foot up to meet the knee. Now your foot never comes higher than the knee. That knee is always slightly above. We're going to inhale, lower the whole leg to hover. Exhale, lift it up. Lower it down, lifting it up, squeezing into the outside of that booty. Good. Beautiful work, guys. We've got 10 here. Feeling that inner thigh switch on as well. Eight. And just check your knees again. So as you lower that leg down, if your top knee is coming behind the bottom, your top hip is rolling backwards. So give it a push forward for me. Good. Keep moving. All right. The good burn is coming soon. You've got eight, seven. Six, can you lift a little higher, but keep your hips nice and still. Four, three, good. We've got another two. One more time, lift it up, let's pulse and pulse. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay. Alrighty, from here, we're going to lower the leg to hover. You're going to lift it up. We'll go for a pointed toe, extend that leg. Draw it in, lower to hover. Lift, extend, squeeze that butt cheek. Good. All right, ballerina point on that toe for me. We've only got eight here, and then we're going to add on. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Breathing in through the nose, filling yourself up. And as you take that leg back, I want you to squeeze that butt cheek, get the leg back in line with your booty. So we don't want it out in front. That's working your hips and your quads. We want to work the glutes. That's why we're here. Good. Let's go for another four. We're going to keep that leg long in three. Good. You've got two. One more time. Take that leg nice and long. From here, keep your tummy drawing in. We're going to lower the toes down to the mat. Exhale, lift. Draw one circle. Lower the toes down to the mat. Lift. Draw two circles. Good. Down, up. Three circles. You know where I'm going here. Good. Control that tap down. Now it doesn't matter which way your circles are going because we are going to reverse. All right, we're up to five. Try and keep that little gap between your waist and your mat here. Really starting to burn. And as you draw those circles, the only part of your body moving is that leg. So really lengthen the leg out, squeeze the butt cheek. This is seven. We're going to 10, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Good. Circling back in line with that booty. Good. Tummy's in. I'm struggling to count now. Eight. Going down. We're nearly there. Good. Seven, eight, nine. Tap. All right. Last time we have 10 circles. 10, nine, eight. Can you lengthen that leg out even more? Six, five, burning. Four, three, two, one. Tap the toes down. You're lifting up, reversing your circle for 10. Nine. Good. Eight, seven, six, five. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Tap, lift, stay reversed for nine. You know what we're doing. Good. Seven. Keep that bottom leg nice and still. Make the butt cheek work. Good. Three, two, one. Control those circles. <sighs> circles, not squares. Six, five, four. Point the toe. Three, two, one. Going down. We're up to seven. Oh my gosh. You can do it. <sighs> we're lying down. Nothing can happen here besides that really great burn. <laughs> Good. We're almost halfway. This is six, five. Four, I'm shaking. Three, two, one. Tap halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap. Four, let's do it, guys. Four, three, two, one. Go down, lift. Three, two, one. Tap. All right. Two circles. One. Tap. Lift, one circle, hold, flex your foot, bring it back to 45 degrees. We're finishing with a pulse, pulse, good. 10, nine, is your knee higher than the foot? Have you got the little gap? Woo, six, five, last bit, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Oh, give it a whack, ouchie. <laughs> Well done. All right, from here, we are coming up onto our knees and we're going to keep working through this right butt cheek. So on your knees, give your shoulders a roll down and back. We're going to come down onto our right hand. Yes, right. <laughs> and take your left leg nice and long to start off with. Now with your right hand, I'm up on my fingertips so that I know I'm not sinking down into my shoulder. My arms are shorter than my legs. It's just how it is. <laughs> so you want to make sure that hip is nice and long, tailbone is tucked, and you're lifting through the waist. We're pointing the left toes here. Your right butt cheek is stabilizing us. Open that chest. We're going to go for a lift of this left leg. Inhale, tummy's in. Exhale, lift. Tap the mat. Lift. Tap. Good. Now keep lifting up nice and high with that waist. Keeping that hip over the knee. <sighs> Try not to roll too far backwards here. Squeezing that butt cheek. <sighs> Good. Shoulders away from the ears. <sighs> You've got 10. Left butt cheek's working too. Nine. Eight to go. Good. Seven deep breaths. Six. <sighs> and five. Good. Four, smile, three, good, two, one more time, hold it, flex your foot, little pulses here, good, ten, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay where you are, keep the foot flexed, we're bending that leg back into 45 degrees, lower the knee down, exhale, open, Lower it down and open. Yes, it's like a clam on the side. Whole body is working here. You've got 10. Oh, wobbles. And nine. <laughs> Eight to go. Squeeze that left butt cheek. Seven. Six. And five. Four. You know we're pulsing. In three. Two. One more time, lift it, start to pulse. 
Pulse, good, 10. Now if you had your ankle weight or your booty, if your ankle weight in particular on that right leg, this exercise is really great for opening up through the hips. So I don't usually advise having it on that leg that you're lifting anyway, because it would be absolutely killing you right now. <laughs> we'll use it again in a second. We've got five, four, three, two, one, hold it open, take that leg nice and long, toe is pointed, circles, we're back here. You've got six, five, we'll reverse and then we're done. In three, two, one, reverse it, good. Six, five, last bit, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, don't stop moving. We're going to come over into our four point kneel now. Tucking that tailbone under, we're going to come down onto your elbows. Back to this right leg. Take the right leg nice and long, point the toes, tummy's in. We're going to exhale, lift that leg up, one circle. Tap down to the mat. Lift, two circles, bit of deja vu. Good, lift three circles. All right, let's do this. Tummies in, lift, four, three, two, one. Tap, lift, five. Now your eye gaze is at your hands here. Two, one, shoulders away from the ears. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, keep both hip bones down, facing towards the mat. Good, lengthen that spine. Two, one, tap. Good, we're up to eight. Seven, really squeeze that butt cheek. Five, four, three, two, one, tap. Here we go, nine, we're gonna reverse it after 10. Six. Five, four, try not to lean to the left side. Good, all right, we're up to 10 now, let's go. 10, nine, lengthen that leg out nice and long. Five, four, three, two, one. Tap, we're gonna lift, reverse that circle. 10, nine, good, eight, you're doing so well. Five, four, three, two, one. One, home stretch, keep your chest nice and proud. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, eight, seven, six, lift that chest, shoulders away from the ears. Three, two, one, tap, we're nearly halfway. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, tap, reverse, six, five, four, three, two, one. My upper body is shaking too. Five, four, three, two, one. Control that circle, four, three, two, one. Stay with me, three, two, one. Tummies in, you've got two, one. Last one, lift it. Circle, take it down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my hamstring, my glute, everything. Have a child's pose. <sighs> wow. <sighs> that sounded so much easier when I planned that out in my head. <laughs> Shake your hips from side to side. Give that right butt cheek a really nice whack. And then... No rest for the wicked. We're coming right down to lie on our right side this time. And let's do all of that on our left side. So we get to lie down again now, guys. Coming back into that 45 degree position here with your legs, just tapping your heels with your hands. Oh my goodness, I'm still shaking. Check that top hip for me, Get a, give it a little push forward and then check your knees. Squeezing the heels together. Take a big inhale, draw your tummy in. Exhale, let's lift that leg, lower it to hover. Lift the leg, lower to hover. Now this side may feel a little bit tighter because your left side has already worked for us. We opened up the hip with those lift and lowers. 
and then it just stabilized us in the lift and lowers in our four point kneel so be gentle don't try and force anything because if you do that top hip is just going to roll backwards and then we're not working the glute anymore find that breath squeeze the heels together oh I always forget that we have to do the second side. <laughs> Let's even ourselves out, guys. Has that little gap between the waist and the mat. You'll never want to draw a circle again, especially if you have an ankle weight on. <laughs> All right, let's go for another 10, really warming up this left glute. Give it a big squeeze. Good. Seven, keep squeezing those heels. Six and five. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and one. Lifted, start to pulse, pulse, good. 10, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five. Watch that top here, four, three, two, one. Flexing the feet, lift that foot up in line with the knee. Inhale, lower to hover, lift. Lower to hover, lift. This is my tight side. So I'm just going to go slower, control my move, make sure my form is on point rather than forcing something and working the wrong areas here. Tummy's in. Good. We've only got 10 of these. Remember, we're lying down. Enjoy this. Eight and seven. Good. Six to go. Five, really opening up that hip. Four, but keeping that little gap between the waist and the mat. Three, two, one. Let's start to pulse. Pulse strong, flex through the foot. Eight, seven, six. We add that leg extension in. In four, three, two, one. Lower to hover. Lift. Toe is pointed from here. Extend the leg back in line with your body. Draw in. Lower to hover. Lift. Extend. Lengthen that leg. Good. Now, whenever we have an extension move, I want you to imagine you're stretching out every muscle in that leg. It's my favorite thing about Pilates. We stand up a little bit taller. We lengthen everything out as well as getting that strengthening happening too. <sighs> All right, just five more. The circles are coming. Four. Lower to hover. And three. Good. <sighs> when you extend that leg, it should be higher than hip height. Really work that glute. Last one, lift, extend the leg, really reach through the toes. Are we ready? Lower the toes, exhale, lift, circle. Lower towards the mat, lift, two circles. Let's go. Tap, lift, three circles. Now when I say tap down to the mat, you don't really have to get to the mat. Just go as far as you can before you're losing control of that squeeze of the glute and that lengthening of the leg. So we still want the gap between the waist and the mat. Don't force anything. Good. This is my fifth one. Tap, lift, going for six. Good. Tummy's in. Three, two, one. Tap, lift, seven. Hopefully the second side feels like it goes a little faster. <laughs> Two, one, good. We're nearly done. Eight, seven. Keep your neck nice and long for me. There's no need to watch the toe. Really lengthen that spine out. <sighs> good. Eight. <laughs> good, guys. You are doing so well. We're on the home stretch. <sighs> Last time you do this clam series today. Good. Breathe. Three, two, one. I'm coming up now for my 10th set. 10, nine, circling back in line with that butt cheek. Five, four, three, two, one. Going down. All right, I'm going for 10 again, reversing my circle. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, control. 
Good. Okay, here we go. Home stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Two, one. Oh my goodness. Eight, seven. Really squeeze the glute. Three, two, one. I'm shaking. Seven, six, five. Really use your core. Three, two, one. Okay, six, keep lifting that leg up high. Two, one. All right, five, we've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, four, three, two, one. Stay with me. Three, two, one. You've got two, one, tap. Lift one circle, flex the foot, bend back to 45, pulse to finish. Last set of clamps. 10, 9, control the pulse. 7, 6, 5, watch the hip. 3, 2, 1, take it down. Whack it out. Clams are done. Two more series and then we are finished. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we can do it. This whole side of my body is really sweaty right now. <laughs> okay, lift and lowers. Now remember we're extending out the right leg this time. Left glute is stabilizing us. The ankle weight is fine to stay on the left leg. We don't want to burn these hip flexors. So coming down onto the left hand, left knee, making sure your body is in one long line. Open the chest, pointing the right toes first. This is going to be nasty. Inhale, tummy's in. Exhale, lift. See? Nasty. <laughs> Good. Now we're not here for too long. Keep your chest proud. Remembering to come up onto your fingertips if you need. You can be on your knuckles here as well. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Breathing. Five. We do those pulses. In four. Three. Squeeze that right butt cheek. Two. And one, lift it, start to pulse, good. Making sure this left hip stays over the knee. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex the foot, bend into 45 degrees. Make sure your knees are in line. Lower it down, exhale, lift. Lower, lift, my whole body is shaking right now. Slow it down, control your moves, 10. Nine, lift that waist. Eight to go. Seven, really opening up through the hip. Six, good. Five, beautiful. Four, we pulse it out. In three, don't drop your head. Two, one, keep your neck nice and long. Let's pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, we extend for the circles. In four, three, two, one. One, extend, point the toes, circles, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse, good, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Okay, I'm going to flip sides for you. You come straight into your four-point kneel. Tuck that tailbone under, down onto your elbows. Shoulders away from the ears, left leg back, Nice and long, draw that tummy in. Are we ready? This is your last series. Exhale, lift, one circle. Tap the mat. Lift, two circles. Here we go, guys. Give yourself a smile. Just think of the toning that is happening right now. Four, three, two, one. Both hip bones stay facing down. The only part of your body moving is that leg. Eye gaze at your hands, shoulders away from the ears. Good. Tap, fairy tap on the mat. This is my seventh set. Five, four, three, two, one. Chest is proud. Eight circles. Use that core, tummy in. Good. Squeezing that glute. Good, this is nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lift that chest, three, two, one. Nothing is happening at your knees. Good. 
I can't remember if I just said nine or ten. I'm so distracted by the burn. Good. We'll say this is nine. All right. Tap. Last set. This is ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. You've got five. Four. We're going to work our way down in two. One. Tap. Lift. Ten. Really control those circles for me. Sides of the small dinner plate. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, tap, lift, nine, eight. We're on the home stretch, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Your whole body is working. Stay with me. Eight, seven, lengthen your spine out nice and long. Three, two, one, tap, lift, seven, six. How are your hips going? Three, two, one. One, tap, lift, stay strong. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Tell yourself you've got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Tap, lift. Three, two, one. Best circles yet. Two, one. Tap, lift. One. Take it down. Oh my God, look at my sweat marks. <laughs> well done. Reach out in your child's pose. Your inner thighs should be burning. Your glutes, your hamstrings. Oh, wow. I really hope I'm not overreacting and you're all struggling a little bit here as well. Just please let me know in the comments after. <laughs> From here, guys, step back into your high plank. We're going to lift the right leg up, draw the right knee to the right wrist, lengthen that left leg back. Take your pigeon. So flexing that right foot and just making sure your hips are in line. So draw that right hip back for me. Lift the chest. Let's give the shoulders a roll. Good. And then melting down to wherever you are comfortable. <sighs> Wow. Okay. Take some deep breaths now. Maybe close down your eyes. Feel those endorphins pumping. Deep breaths in through the nose. Maybe you sigh it all out. Sink a little deeper into the mat. Beautiful. One more deep breath in here. Exhale it out. And then pressing into your hands, untucking the left toes. Let's press back into a pike. Just rinse out that spine. Rinse out your hamstrings. And swing forward again. Lift that left leg. Draw the knee in. Lengthen the right leg back nice and long. Good. This time sitting up nice and tall. Draw that left hip back. And then just draw some circles with your neck. Opening up, then dropping the chin down one way, then the other. One more time. And then melting down to wherever you are comfortable. And let's all shut down the eyes now. Maybe you add a little sway in from side to side. And this is where I just like to thank my body for all of that hard work that it just did. And really acknowledge that it is a privilege to be able to work out and exercise and use our muscles the way we do. And just bring a smile to your face here. Just acknowledging that, feeling really grateful for what we have and what we just did. Filling yourself up with that gratitude every time you inhale. And then just letting any tension go on that exhale. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to press back into one more pike. I'm tucking the toes, lengthening back into that pike. Just feel that release in your hamstrings. And then I'll give you the option now to maybe take a child's pose from here. 
or if you'd prefer, you can come to lie on your back. We're just going to take a few rounds of some deep breaths. I'm going to lie with my soles and my feet together, knees nice and wide, relaxing down. And I have one hand on my heart space, one on my belly. Just closing down your eyes. Sometimes I find that when we do a really tough workout, it's easy to leave feeling amazing at the time, but then we don't let ourselves calm down again and that rush can follow you into your day. So let's just bring ourselves back, find that calm, starting to take inhales in through the nose and out through the nose. As you breathe in, feeling your chest expand and your belly, maybe holding that breath for a few moments. If you need, exhale out through the mouth, take a big sigh out, release that tension. Inhale, hold that breath. Exhale, melt down into the mat, find stillness. And take another deep inhale. Hold. Exhale out. Two more times. Inhale. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Exhale it out. One more time. Breathing all the way in until you can't breathe any more air in. Fill yourself up. Keep going, keep going. Hold that breath. And sigh it out. Bring that smile back to your face. Relax the eyebrows again. Maybe roll your head from side to side. And then when you're ready, you don't have to finish up yet. You can keep going with those breaths. But you are all done for your workout today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, I love hearing from the Peaches fam. So feel free to leave any feedback. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time. Thanks, guys.